<sighs> Pretty nice day. Definitely need to put all this away and <laughs> make the bed. These were my favorite jeans until last night. I'm not really too sure what happened. Definitely need some new jeans. For some reason, I do want to keep them because if I sewed them together, they wouldn't look how they did originally, but I think they still look pretty cool. I'm also not sure what's going on up here, but there's like no organization going on whatsoever. So <laughs> this whole thing needs to be fixed. The sun is shining. It actually looks like a really nice day today, but just because it's bright doesn't mean it's warm. Winter. It's definitely gone. <laughs> As of before we start the day, this needs cleaning. This all needs cleaning. Now in the spare room, this, I don't even want to talk about all this. This is a conversation for another video. <laughs> I need to shower because I don't smell that good right now. Toilet seat down, check, towel, check. I think guys, so now we're all showered and ready, we can start the day. I'm gonna put some clothes on, and then usually the plan is, after I'm showered and ready, I'll assess the kitchen situation, clean up if I need to, then I'll make some breakfast the first meal of the day. Around nine or 10 in the morning, usually I like to sleep in, because I usually go to bed quite late, around two, maybe three in the morning. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Me personally, I'm just a night owl, and my mind comes alive at night, and I'm most productive. And then I'll go to the fridge, assess the situation, see if we need to go to the grocery store, and today, we definitely need to, because we're out of pre Pretty much everything. Not used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation. Not used to this, no, I'm not. I better let myself. Give in to love, believe in us No matter what it does to my heart Not used to this, no I'm not It was like if we were to waste These moments The light poets to me Alright, so now breakfast is made. We have three whole eggs, 250 milliliters of egg whites, one whole bagel. But in terms of morning supplementation, the stack that I take in the morning, I just take one serving of the Burn HD by HD Muscle, one serving of the Vita HD. This is like their all-round multivitamin. It helps with immunity and enhances your mood as well than just like giving you all the multivitamins that you need in the day. I'll fill this up. This is a two-liter jug. I'll have like two, maybe three of these a day, equaling four to six liters of water every single day. Two of these, five of these. You can take a bunch of other things in the morning as well, but this is pretty much an all round good fat burner, multivitamin, mood enhancement, and immunity support, all in just like two supplements. So it's pretty good. All right, so now I just finished breakfast. Usually in the mornings, if I have any like pictures to post on Instagram, I'll get that done pretty early. Sometimes I like to post once or twice a day just to like keep people updated on what the hell I'm doing. And I just put in the caption, currently recording a day in the life of an amateur bodybuilder, which is this video right now. After about five minutes, I'll look at the comments, see if there's any. And if there is, I'll just like reply to a bunch. When this is done, I'm gonna go onto my app that I just downloaded. It's called Things. And it's almost like a life organizer. That's the app right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right at the bottom. When I'm in bed the night before, I'll jot down my to-dos for the Day. I don't know, it's just like recently helped me out like a lot because to be honest, my time management skills actually suck. <laughs> I'm still gonna need a hoodie because it's not that warm, so we're gonna wear one just in case. Water. Alright guys, so we just got to Canadian Superstore. This is where we're going to be doing my shopping for today. Usually, I'll switch between either Metro or Canadian Superstore, but I feel like here has like more option. It's cheaper. It's a bigger store in general, so the lines outside like won't be as big as Metro because I swear Metro lines are just like round the freaking block. But here, it's like five minutes and you're in the store. So. I'm 
I'm literally just the checkout and I'm paying for my food and you just hear the heavens freaking open slam down on the top of Superstore. It was winter like four days ago. Then it was summer two days ago. It was great this morning and now it's this. Canadian weather is the most bipolar weather I've ever seen in my life. So they didn't have any monsters at Superstore so I've come to the petrol station just down the street to pick up some of these. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. There's also a deal on here. When you buy three, you get them cheaper, so I always get three. Just got back to the apartment. Right now, I'm gonna show you everything that I just picked up from the store, put everything away, and prepare two meals for today. Pre-workout and post-workout meal, because I'll take the post-workout meal to the gym. I'll work out and then pretty much eat it within half an hour or immediately after the workout. It's about 12 o'clock right now. First meal was at nine, second at 12. Third meal, around three, four o'clock. Meal four, around seven. And then last meal will be around 10 or 11 o'clock. But I do like to prepare some of my meals, but on the nighttime, if I can be in the apartment and make my meal fresh, one, it tastes better. I don't particularly like my Microwaving my food. You can slap it back in the pan, but I'm also a little bit lazy. So I just honestly prefer to make meals like fresh. Personal preference. Everything that I just picked up is more or less gonna last me about a week. Some things will last me longer than a week, especially the bagels. I have one of these a day. And obviously there's two packets here, so that'll last longer than a week. Starting off, we've got some chicken, four packets of breast, two sirloin steaks, two packets of lean minced turkey. Turkey is a lot leaner than beef, so I'm just sticking with this. We've got some bleach for cleaning purposes, a pineapple, some mushroom, spinach, three packets of blueberries, two packets of raspberries, some Doritos for like a little bit of a nighttime snack. Not the best thing to be snacking on, but considering we're not really on prep right now, we're kind of maintaining, there is room for some like flexibility. Pretty much 98% of the day, I am on the plan. I'm not gonna like eat this whole pack on a nighttime, but if I want like a couple Doritos, I will have a couple Doritos. But, um, Next we've got cream of wheat, two packs of bagels. I wanted to try some different rice, so I've got this jasmine rice that has like a coconut flavor. I saw it in the store today, I was like, yo, that's probably really nice, I'm gonna try this. Egg whites, two packets of this like beef ramen, I freaking love ramen, so I might have this like one night in the week. We've got two onions just to mix in with some like vegetables if I wanted to do like stir fry veg. Next, we got some jam, I don't have jam every day, maybe like once or twice a week. We got bananas, we got three monsters, one's cracked open in the car. Sea bass fillets, extra large eggs, restocked on my asparagus. And we've got three peppers for some like stir fry veg. My diet doesn't consist of like a crazy amount of variety, but personally, that's just the way I like things. I'm a creature of habit. I'm definitely down to like try new things. I do enjoy like some macro friendly recipes, but in terms of day to day, sticking to a plan, I just like the same kind of thing. But again, that's just the way I personally like to do things. So just finished preparing the pre and the post workout meal. We also cooked some more chicken as well. I can have this tomorrow. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge when it cools down. One sec. That some was done for the post-workout meal. But like I was saying, we have 100 grams of cream of wheat, one scoop of protein, 100 grams of blueberries, 20 grams of almond butter. Then post-workout, we have the zucchini that is currently in the air fryer, 200 grams of chicken, and one of the packets of the Uncle Ben's jasmine rice. Got my gym bag, tripod, meal in this bag with some sauce. I always take my tripod pretty much everywhere just in case I want to take a picture. I take most of my pictures myself. And if I want to like record a workout and like no one's there to like help me film my set also, this is obviously like really convenient to have with me. We have, of course, the hard body belt releasing when ends. <laughs> Shaker, squat shoes. I got my headphones, got the beats for when shit gets real. Hard body wrist straps, which you might actually need today because we're going to be bench pressing. Oh, yeah. Black and white ones here, so whatever you whatever. You Have we got extra small, right? For me? <laughs> yeah. You're a medium, right? You're a yeah, medium. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Sick. All right, guys, so we just got to the warehouse. The thing that I wanted to pick up was one of these, which is the Glyco HD. Typically have this with my pre-workout meal or potentially a cheat meal. It's essentially a glucose dispersing agent, which essentially helps with insulin sensitivity and nutrient partitioning. So when you have like a big meal or a high carb meal, it basically sends the carbs in the right places to put it in like a really simplistic way. HD Black also just restocked on the HD Muscle website. This can't be sold anywhere except for America because there's ingredients in it that aren't like legal to sell in other countries. So if you're from the US, pick this up if you want a pretty intense workout as you just saw no was sorting through the boxes down here gave me a white and a black stringer probably gonna wear the white one for today's workout i didn't know this was happening but there's like a little bit of a shoot situation going on right now which is pretty cool they're taking pictures of the products next to the thing that it essentially assists with we don't use any harsh sweeteners with the products we use things like stevia but i'm gonna get dorian to like explain all that right now we just don't use any like really really harsh artificial sweeteners so like things like ace k if you're using like you know three four or five products on a daily basis and they all have ace k it can really add up no artificial colors no artificial dyes. Yeah, so instead we'll use stevia, monk fruit. I mean, then from there on certain products, like when we're dealing with like essential aminos, we have to use a little bit of sucralose. But we always aim to use the least amount possible and keep them as natural as we possibly can. And they've got like a cold five guys to take pictures of the Glyco HD with the cheat meal. It's, it's pretty funny. Uh, pretty good. Sweet. Let's uh... To be honest, considering I only just ate my 
my pre-workout meal. I'm probably gonna have like two of these right now. You can use code HARDBODY at the checkout. There's gonna be a link in the description down below if you wanna pick up any of the stuff that is currently in this warehouse right now. So we just pulled up to the mansion to hit a workout in the garage gym that they have that's where i'm still training obviously super grateful to like have this place to training because like a lot of people don't even have a gym obviously training in a small space with everyone living inside the mansion we have to like orchestrate different times so like my not allocated time but i can usually train after 4 30. i kind of like because i prefer training after like a couple meals anyway and as well it stopped raining, the sun's out, and it's really hot. So I can open like the garage doors, but again, the weather just doesn't know what to do. I'm gonna take a scoopy, a little scoop. Oh. Mmm. No. You don't even need water. I'm gonna get started with the bench press. chest flies okay. one thing about my workouts here at the mansion i like to keep them quite basic short and sweet but very freaking intense like in between the dumbbell press i was having like 30 to 40 second rest period just because like i kind of like training without music just like listening to the sound of the birds and like the air and stuff definitely a little bit weird but there's just something about being in here that like makes me feel like i want to keep the intensity as high as it can be We just got back into the car. I'm gonna dig into my post workout meal now as I prepared earlier. You already know what it is chicken, rice, and courgette. I'm gonna add a couple squirts of this sauce. Sweet and spicy. If you haven't tried it, you need to because it makes everything taste freaking glorious. And there's like five calories per serving, so it's pretty sick. another meal this is actually meal number four of the day i'm gonna like wait a couple hours it's actually getting quite late now but i'll like wait about two hours before i do have my before bed meal a little bit later than usual but regardless i'm not gonna go to bed without having that meal so this is what we currently have it's essentially a big plate of sweet potato turkey mint asparagus mixed in some sweet and hot sauce the sauce that you saw in the last meal so pretty weighty plate to be honest it's like a lot of food i don't really have too much to do tonight so it's not going to be like a crazy day in the life night time kind of thing if you had any kind of a childhood, you will know about the film Robots. Came out in 2005, probably watched it about 27 times, and I'm about to watch it for the 28th time, because honestly, I got nothing else to do tonight. Netflix is shit, there's nothing on it, so I had to find this on the internet. I'm in the mood to watch some Robots. I'm in a nostalgic mood, so. I'm gonna be a yeah! 
I've always said to myself, if I could do it over again, I would follow my dream. You go to Robot City, you go meet Big Weld, and you show him your big ideas. And Rodney, never, never give up. Just having the final meal of the day, pretty much the same as the pre-workout meal, but instead of cream of wheat, it's oats instead, and I've thrown in some raspberries in here instead of just blueberries. And I'm finishing off my second, so what only will be four liters of water today, just finishing off my last little bit of this jug. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I wish I had the guts to start a conversation with someone. With someone.